will press you. You I are the one. We meet again, but this time I know who and what you really are. I want to slice your throat now, bitch. Oh frick! I never thought I'd ever willingly stand in the same room with Tullius again. At least not without a weapon in my hand. It's good to be back in Hyrule after all these years. I'd just as soon get this over with. We should get started. Alduin is only getting stronger. I agree. Nova King. Alright. Let's do this. Is here, please take your seats so we can begin. I hope that we have all come no. here in the spirit you of... insult us by bringing her to this negotiation. I agree. Your chief talus hunter? That didn't take long. Here, here. I have every right to be at this negotiation. I need to ensure that nothing is agreed to here that violates the terms of the White Gold Concordat. She's part of the Imperial delegation. You can't dictate who I bring to this council. Please. If we have to negotiate the terms of the negotiation, we will never get anywhere. Perhaps this would be a good time to get the Dragonborn's input on this matter. Sure. By Izmir's beard, the nerve of those Imperial bastards, eh? To think that I would sit down at the same table with that. Thou more bitch, either she walks or I do. You're right. Falmore have no business here. No business. I'm glad we agree on this. Out with the Falmor. Enjoy your petty victory. The Falmor will treat with whatever government rules Skyrim. We would not think of interfering in your civil war. Ha! Skyrim will never bow to the Falmor. Unlike your imperial friends here. You're lucky I respect the Greybeard's council, Galmar. Legget. We represent the Emperor here. Sorry, sir. It won't happen again. Now that that's settled, may we proceed? I have something to say first. Here we go. Shut up! The only reason I agreed to attend this council was to deal with the Dragon Menace. There's nothing else to talk about. Unless the Empire is finally ready to renounce its unjust claim to rule over the free people of Skyrim. I knew he wouldn't be able to resist. Temporary truce to allow the dragonborn here to deal with the dragons, nothing more. I consider even talking to the Empire a generous gesture. Are you done? Did you just come here to make speeches, or can we get down to business? Yes, let's get this over with. Are we ready to proceed? Jarl Ulfric. General Tullius. This council is unprecedented. We are gathered here at the Dragonborn's request. Yes. I ask that you all respect the spirit of High Hrothgar. Do your best to begin the process of achieving a lasting peace in Skyrim. Who would like to open the negotiations? Yes, let's get down to it. We want control of Markarth. That's our price for agreeing to a truce. So that's why you're here, Ulfric? You dare to insult the Greybeards by using this council to advance your own position? Jarl Elisif. General, this is outrageous. You can't be taking this demand seriously. I thought we were here to discuss a truce. Elisif, I said I'd handle it. Ulfric, you can't seriously expect us to give up Murkarth at the negotiating table. You hope to gain in council what you've been unable to take in battle, is that it? I'm sure Jarl Ulfric does not expect something for nothing. Yes, that'd be entirely out of character. I want to return. Wait, General, you don't intend to just hand over Markarth to that traitor? This is how the Empire repays us for our loyalty? Enough. First, let's be clear. This council wasn't my idea. I think it's a waste of time. You are a traitor to the Empire, and deserve a traitor's death. But I at least will negotiate in good faith. Since we're all here at your request, I'd like to hear what you think Markarth is worth.
Winterhold or Riften. In exchange for Markar, the source of most of Skyrim silver. Hardly. Riften seems like a better choice to me. Well fortified, easily resupplied from across Lake Honrik, plus all the mead we can drink. Yeah, you're right. You're right. What do you have there? A bunch of mountains, a lot of sea. It's. I was thinking about the sea. It was rather strategical for you. But yet again, you would have a lot of resources. And by the way, Riften is near Cyrodiil, so it's the... Yes, what I was thinking. Riften is the fair trade for Markov. No question. I'm glad you agree. I was starting to wonder whose side you were on here. Dragonborn has spoken, Gullius. Markarth will be ours. Now we'll see if there's anything behind your talk with good faith. You disappoint me, Dragonborn. I accepted your invitation on trust in your good name. But it seems you intend to favor Ulfric. No, I not entirely. I that this is not a negotiation at all. I know you, Ulfric. If I hand over Markarth, you'll be ready with a new demand. You'll never defeat the Empire, and you know it. But you're willing to sacrifice thousands for your own selfish ambition. Soon enough, I'll have you back under the Headsman's Axe, and this time there won't be any dragon to save you. As always, the Empire's fine words are worth nothing. Stop! Are you so blind to our danger that you can't see past your pity disagreement? Here you sit arguing about nothing. While the fate of the land hangs in the balance. Is he with you, Delphine? If so, I advise you to tell him to watch his tongue. He is with me. And I advise you both to listen to what he has to say before you do anything rash. Don't you understand the danger? Don't you understand what the return of the dragons means? Alduin has returned. The world eater. Even now he devours the souls of your fallen comrades. He grows more powerful with every soldier slain in your pointless war. Can you not put aside your hatred for even one moment in the face of this mortal danger? He has a great point. I don't know about the end of the world, but this dragon situation has gotten out of hand. If this truce will help the dragonborn here put an end to that menace, we both gain. Remember that, Ulfric. Now, back to the matter at hand. You know as well as I do that we can't hand over Markarth on these terms. So I suppose, where will these demands end? Out with it then. We want compensation for the massacre at Carthwaston. You slaughtered the very people you claim to be fighting for. True sons of Skyrim would never do such things. What? Damned Imperial lies. My men would never stoop to such methods, even in retaliation for your butchery at him. All the blood spilled in this war is on your head. So, Dragonborn, what do you say? What happened? I should have known better than to expect you to give us a fair hearing. Once again, the Empire takes the blame for the crimes of others. You know I can't agree to these terms. The Emperor would repudiate this treaty and I would be recalled. Damn Imperial arrogance. Let's hear it. We want the Pale returned to Imperial control. The traitor Skull the Elder will be replaced with a more loyal candidate. What next, Talius? Shall I just hand over all of Skyrim? I guess I have no choice but to let the Dragonborn decide, although I'm starting to doubt your fairness. So, Dragonborn, what do you say? All right. Hmm. I knew I could count on you. Don't hand me a mug of sheep's piss and call it Colovian brandy. These terms are still not acceptable. Do you see what talking to them gets us? Out with it then. Never mind. I can see that these are the best terms we'll get from this council. So be it. The Empire at least puts the greater good above our own interests. It seems we may have an agreement. Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, these are the terms 
currently on the table. Markarth will be handed over to Ulfric's forces, Jarl Igmund will step down, and Thangvor Silverblood will become the Jarl of Markarth. The Stormcloaks will withdraw from the Rift, allowing Imperial troops unhindered access. Mm, exactly. Jarl Lawgiver will step down, and Maven Blackbriar will become the Holy Jarl shit, that one? The Pale will be turned over to the Empire, Rina Merilis, will assume the Jarl ship in Dawnstar. You both agree to this? The Sons of Skyrim will live up to their agreements, as long as the Imperials hold to theirs. What about you, Elisir? Are these terms to your liking? Speak up! I'm sure General Tullius is waiting to do your bidding. I have nothing to say to that murderer. General, you've proven yourself a good friend to Skyrim. I continue to trust that you will do your utmost to safeguard our interests. Thank you, Jarl Ellison. I appreciate your loyalty. These terms blatantly favor the rebels. Everyone here knows that. But the Empire will accept them until the Dragon Menace is dealt with. All right. After that, Ulfric, there will be a reckoning. Count on it. Come on, Galmar. We have a lot of work to do. Giving up Markarth is a heavy price for this truce, Dragonborn. I hope it was worth it. Jarl Valgruf, I assume you are familiar with the Dragonborn's plan? Yes, I'm ready to do my part. Just say the word, and my men will help you spring this trap. Right. But the difficulty remains, how to lure a dragon to Dragon's Reach at all? Well, that's an excellent question. You haven't overlooked that little detail, have you? Ah, I believe I can help you. I anticipated the problem. While you were arranging this meeting, I was busy in the Library of Skyhaven Temple. An unguessed troll of lost lore. But the important thing is that the blades recorded many of the names of dragons they slew. Hmm. Cross referencing this with Delphine's map of dragon burial sites. I believe I've identified one of the dragons that Odin has left out. Ah, don't you see? The names of dragons are always three words of power. Shouts. By calling the dragon with a voice, he will hear you wherever he might be. Hmm. He's not compelled to, but dragons are prideful by nature and loath to refuse a challenge. I see. Your voice in particular is likely to intrigue this dragon. After your victory over Odin, I think it's very likely that he will be unable to resist investigating your call. Ah, indeed. I'm no master of the voice like these, worthy gentlemen. But it is written here in the scroll. Od Adi, winged snow hunter, as I read. Hmm. What do you know? Parthenax, the dragon that the Greybeards have been protecting for all these years. He needs to die. What? He deserves to die. And it falls to you to kill him. He deserves to die. I'm sorry, but we would dishonor our oaths as blades if we continue to help you. What? Make your choice, Dragonborn. You're either with us or against us. Here's the big picture. He helped Alduin enslave our ancestors. He may have betrayed Alduin in the end, but that makes him worse, not better. We can't afford to give Parthenax the opportunity to betray us in turn. And return to his old master. I'll take my chances. He helped me and fought Alduin. So fuck you. Fuck you and the blades. No fucking. Fuck you and the blades. <laughs>